Hello everyone and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be creating this fountain design you can see on your screen. I was inspired to create this after watching a video from Broken Pixel where he also created a fountain design. I'll leave a link to his video in the description and you should see it pop up in the top right hand corner of your screen as well. On your screen now you should see the circular layout of what will be the outer walls of the fountain and these are the materials that I'll be using to create the build. The number of mossy blocks you need will depend on how well or the node that you want your fountain to look. But that's enough of the intro, let's start building. So the first part of the fountain that we're going to get set up is the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this circle and replace these concrete blocks with our stone bricks. And I am also going to clear the dirt from the inside of the circle. Next up, we're going to start working on the outer walls. So to do this, we're going to work on this side here, and we're going to place a full block here and here. Then we're going to angle ourselves looking this way, place a stair onto the opposite side and do the same. Then between, we're going to place three walls in this gap. Next, we're going to place some stairs all around here and join them up. And we're also going to do the same on the other corner over here. And to finish it off, we're going to place some lighting by placing dark oak fences and our full bricks here. And top the fences off with some lanterns. And you're going to want to repeat this for all four sides of your outer walls. So now that we have the outer walls finished, we're going to start working on the fountain itself. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the middle block of one of the walls you've built and we're going to come in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks and this is going to be the centre point of your fountain. So next I'm going to build a stone brick pillar up 6 blocks high. Then at each four sides of this pillar I'm going to add an additional 2 stone bricks and a stone brick stair just like that. Then in each of these corners I'm going to place another stone brick and encase that stone brick with stone brick stairs just like that. Next up, again beside our fountain at each of the four sides we're going to place another two stone bricks high up like that. Then we're going to in each of these corners place some stone brick walls coming up the fifth block of our middle pillar. Now we're going to come in and at each of the walls in our four corners we're going to place some slabs at the bottom of the wall. Then in the centre gaps between our slabs at the four sides we're going to place a right side up stair. And to finish it off, we're going to come underneath and place an upside down stair underneath each of our slabs in the corners. So to finish up the build, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our mossy stone blocks and I am just going to randomly go about the fountain and break some blocks and replace them. And doing this with the mossy bricks just helps add a little bit of green, a little bit more colour into the build itself. And to finish off our fountain we're going to add the key ingredient which is our water. So the water is going to be spouting out at the top of our middle pillar here just like this. And it's going to come out of those four gaps at the sides that we left. And I'm also going to fill in the bottom with source blocks of water. And this helps just reduce the noise from the water fountain. And I feel it looks a lot nicer with the source blocks. And there you have it, your brand new fountain. As I said in the intro, the number of mossy blocks you use is entirely up to yourself. You could even add them to the build slowly over time and this would give the effect of it degrading over time rather than just being covered in moss right at the start and it also helps make your Minecraft world feel a little bit more alive and dynamic. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to like and subscribe for more content in the future. 
Also, if you do go on to create this fountain yourself or build upon the design, be sure to share any pictures of it with me on Twitter and Instagram. You can find them linked below. I'd love to see how you get on with your builds and what you manage to come up with. Thank you very much for watching as always. Bye!